But what will happen if I go to trial? Um, if there's a settlement offer, if there's not. I've had two cases within the last two years where a certain insurance company that we deal with a lot uh, gave us their first offers on the second day of trial, ever, from you know cases that were, had been you know in the system for over three years. Right. First offers came on the second day of trial. Why would that be? I have no idea, but that's that does happen. Uh, sometimes an offer never comes. Sometimes they want to offer you know money early, but it it isn't you know uh, what the case is worth. And in, if that's the situation, we're not going to settle for a cheap number just because there's a uh, there's an offer because you know we want to get our clients justice. So sometimes you might have a case where there's an offer on the table and you have to make a decision if you're going to go to trial or not. Right. But then it sounds like other times there's no offer and you really don't have a choice. Exactly. Yeah. Well, we're not taking nothing. So it's a, uh, you know, that's, you know, you know, we're, we're in for the long haul with our clients essentially. So if there's a, if there's a settlement offer that is appropriate, you know, we'll, we'll take every settlement offer to our clients, but if it's appropriate, we'll recommend it. If it's not, and who makes the final decision? Client always makes the final decision. Really? It's their case. Really? We will recommend. They are free to disagree with us, uh, but you know we will always tell them what we think based on our, our experience. You know what's happening in the court systems. Sure. What's happening in the community.